Imagine a time when America's influence wasn't as global as it is today. Yes, there was such a time, until the late 1870s. The Spanish-American War was a pivotal event that dramatically transformed America's limited foreign policy. So what sparked this war? The answer lies in Cuba, a Spanish colony agitating for independence. Reports of Spanish mistreatment of Cubans stirred American public opinion, and the mysterious explosion of the USS Maine further fueled the flames. Political pressure mounted, and America couldn't stand by while a European power meddled in the Western Hemisphere. The war was swift and decisive. America emerged victorious, solidifying its status as an imperial world power. But victory brought with it a new mindset, imperialism. Now, some Americans believe that their nation should annex or take over new territories without offering them the choice to become independent. As a result, Spain ceded several territories to the United States, including Hawaii, the Philippines, Cuba, and Puerto Rico. These new territories expanded the reach of American commercial trade globally, but the war's impact didn't end with the acquisition of new territories. Remember the USS Oregon which was late to the Spanish-American War? President Theodore Teddy Roosevelt used this as a justification to build the Panama Canal. This canal cutting through Central America would make trade between the East and West Coasts faster, further enhancing America's global influence. So, what can we take away from all of this? The Spanish-American War marked a significant shift in America's foreign policy. From a nation with limited foreign interactions, America emerged as a formidable imperial power, acquiring new territories and expanding its global commercial reach. Its victory set the stage for its rise as a world power, a status it continues to hold today. America's victory in the Spanish-American War marked a significant shift in its foreign policy, setting the stage for its rise as a world power. Fast forward to 1914, the world is on the brink of a new kind of war, World War I. This conflict was unlike any that had come before. The age of swords and cavalry was over, replaced by machine guns, tanks, and poison gas. The death toll was staggering, and the battlefields of Europe were transformed into a network of trenches, a grim testament to the destructive power of modern warfare. Amidst this chaos, America remained on the sidelines, adhering to a policy of neutrality. However, the tranquility was short-lived. Two key events in 1917 marked the end of America's non-interventionist stance. The Zimmermann Telegram, a proposed alliance between Germany and Mexico, revealed Germany's aggressive intentions towards the United States. This, coupled with the sinking of the passenger ship Lusitania by German U-boats, was the final straw. America declared war against Germany, entering a conflict that was already three years old. To aid the Allied forces America dispatched the American Expeditionary Force under the command of General John Pershing. Financing the war was a hefty task, one that was achieved through the sale of war bonds, a promise from the government to repay citizens in the future. As the war raged on, President Woodrow Wilson proposed a radical idea to prevent future conflicts. In his 14-point speech he called for the establishment of the League of Nations, a council of world leaders dedicated to maintaining global peace. However, the United States, weary of foreign entanglements, rejected the idea and gradually moved towards a policy of isolationism. World War I was a watershed moment in history, forever changing the landscape of global politics and warfare. From the ashes of this brutal conflict, America emerged as a world power, its foreign policy shaped by the experiences of the war. However, the cost of this ascent was high, paid for in the lives of those who fought and died on the battlefields of Europe. While America was making strides in foreign policy, it was also experiencing significant changes at home. The years between 1914 and 1918 saw the introduction of two significant pieces of legislation, the Selective Services Act and the Espionage Act. The Selective Services Act required all males aged 18 to register for military service, a move that expanded the military's reach and capacity. On the other hand, the Espionage Act passed during World War I allowed the government to suppress speech deemed detrimental to the war effort. This law was seen by many as a violation of the First Amendment, the right to free speech. The ripple effects of these laws were far-reaching, impacting the lives of ordinary citizens and influencing the nation's political discourse. These domestic policies, controversial as they were, played a crucial role in shaping America's societal and political landscape during this transformative period.